Good morning, Toronto. Paul Andrigo here, getting started today with the Toronto GTA Luxury Collection uh, and my Toronto Luxury Homes podcast, um, episode number one. So thank you for uh, joining me here. And what I wanted to do by starting um, a specific, a, a very detailed um, podcast for my luxury uh, luxury collection showcase that I've got on my website, which is through uniquetoronto.com. You just go up to the top, you head over to community pages, and you'll see the Toronto GTA luxury collection there. Um, and it's essentially the um, you know the the starting point for you know any smart buyer in the buying stages, or if you're in the selling stages. So my hope with this podcast, as I have uh, done in my other podcast, is to be sure. Um, to make sure that you guys get the absolute best information possible um, and at the same time you get the best exposure uh, from me when you're working with me to handle your um, million and or multi-million dollar properties um, due to the fact that there was a recent uh, incredibly um, a record-setting sale in the US obviously the uh, the one that you may have heard of this week with uh, the Central Park uh, penthouse that sold for $238 million. Um, it sort of inspired me for the idea of um, creating a very upper scale level of um, relationship building, something that I don't believe has been done and something that um, uh, I certainly have been uh, working very hard on in my in my. Uh, in my 19 years of doing real estate. So what I wanted to do is sort of bring you into the um, studio with me. And of course, as, as the, uh, the top result for Toronto Real Estate on Spotify right now, which is my podcast, Toronto Real Estate Unfiltered, um, I wanted to sort of have a, um, a focus going on on some of the properties that, again, are part of my um, weekly tours with clients and obviously some of them vary because um, some properties are, are just not up there very long so we uh, before I can even profile them for you they you know they may be gone so um, this just gives you an idea of what is out there and obviously it, it all sort of changes by the hour in real estate so I wanted to for uh, just a couple of minutes here today give you a quick overview of um, some of the places that are on the uh, Toronto GTA luxury collection now let me explain how this works. So what I do is I have a, a, a number of areas here that sort of are the um, most requested um, over over the years that I've uh, put together. So I put a list together of both for, for buying and for renting. So bear in mind that if you're in a position where you're looking for a luxury property or a luxury condo, something one of a kind, um, and you're looking to rent, this is, again, the place to get started. It's all it's all right here for at least to give you some idea of what's out there in general and then of course when you're signing up with me for full access um, you'll have access to uh, again a, a lot more on the screen uh, and a lot more detail including um, and I do two kinds of reports for my buying clients I do something called my luxury sold report so that gives you an idea of um, you know what the properties are selling for in your chosen area uh, same thing goes with rentals and I've been dealing with um, executive rentals for CEOs for um, heads of companies for all sorts of th all sorts of upscale um, luxury properties for for many years now and um, going through these places with you I think is one of the best relationship builders possible so um, for many of you the the rentals that we were doing a few years ago uh, ended up becoming some place that um, you know may, may have been the neighborhood that you bought in but more importantly the relationship that we created during that time um, was the beginning of something great and, and of course uh, when you're dealing with a property again whether it's a six figure or seven figure or for that matter eight figure property um, what I believe uh, in, in my opinion just having been doing this for very long is that for 19 years uh, is that the relationships that start on on the on sort of the ground level and grow over the years are, are critical especially as you're getting into the very 
um, you know, to the high net worth uh, type properties and, and, and investments uh, and building your own empire. And obviously, uh, if you've been following the um, the investments of, uh, again, of Ken Griffin, the uh, the hedge fund billionaire who, again, purchased the $238 million um, penthouse in, in New York, that wasn't the only property he bought this month. So he's been buying in Chicago, I believe, and in London as well. So um, my theory, and again, I, I'm only looking at this from a spectator p p point of view at this point, but if a hedge fund manager is investing um, to this degree in real estate, uh, it's probably not the worst thing to um, Put a little empire together yourself and uh, that's the um, the one thing that I've been really trying to um, emphasize for for many years is that of course everything starts you know on on some scale with uh, buying and uh, of course I'm not suggesting that uh, you need to let go of any of those properties but in some cases you have to uh, sometimes you have to let go of one to get two um, and, and I'm very very well skilled at that process as well I'm actually handling several of those around the city as we speak so to uh, to, to reinvest and, and to redivest the um, the uh, the uh, the proceeds from your you know from your property that you may have now um, and to put it into uh, other investments I think is a um, you know a very wise choice and and we're at a time of year especially in Toronto where um, it may not be the high buying season um, but for the smart clients out there that are looking at the uh, again the very high-end properties um, you would be very wise to consider looking right now simply because the uh, you know the majority of the of the of the buyers that are looking at the spring and the summer markets uh, they're they're not out there right now with us so it's a, it's a very good position to be in um, and uh, I'm, I'm still from the old school where um, and I monitor these these numbers closely in the one two and three million range um, and you know things are still for the most part pretty standard there in terms of when you you know you're looking at a property there's usually a little bit of room for negotiation um, when you're looking at the sub two million range um, very often uh, there are several people competing for those properties so when you're looking at the two three four million range um, from uh, just across the board that I've uh, done my research on um, there's generally speaking not a lot of uh, multiple bidding going on there which is obviously a great thing um, when you're you know when you like a property and you want to go ahead and bid on it it's a, it's a great way to uh, proceed on that so uh, what I'm going to do is just profile a couple of the properties right now that are on the um, um, that are on my showcase and uh, make sure that you kind of just have an idea of uh, what it is that uh, is on my tours every week and you can uh, join me for them so one of the properties here is a uh, a very um, beautiful home in the beach area and um, this is uh, this is an area that I know very well um, I lived there for a short time uh, had an office there for a while but I've, I've handled lots of real estate in the area um, the important thing about understanding the beach is obviously there are pros and cons uh, to every neighborhood and uh, the good news about me is um, I do know a lot about these properties I know a lot about the uh, infrastructure as well in this area uh, I know about the retail I keep a very good eye on the general condition of uh, this is one of the neighborhoods I monitor closely um, and make sure that you understand as well so if you're joining me for a tour of this particular property uh, again which is a four bedroom five bath property um, obviously uh, as you can tell from the uh, from the photos if you're looking through the YouTube with me um, you'll see some incredible photos here of uh, uh, master bedroom um, luxurious retreat for the uh, for the bathrooms there um, uh, and essentially just a, a really you know a really well designed beach home uh, the next one uh, is actually just a little up from there and uh, the reason I like to uh, include this area is uh, this is this is my home neighborhood uh, this is the the Danforth area the Danforth and Greenwood area and um, this particular property is a four plus two. 
Um, so this is actually a very appealing, it's, a, it's, it's less than in the 1.5 range. So it's a, it's a 4 plus 2 beds and uh, the idea behind the plus 2 uh, is that you have the ability to create um, uh, extended space for you know, perhaps family, for um, possibly for, uh, for income. So it's something that you can, uh, again, explore with me and when we have a look at it, you'll see it. Uh, and you'll decide if it's, uh, you know, the right, uh, of course, the right fit for you. Um, you know, if it's got the right upgrades that you need, uh, room sizes, whatnot. Uh, there's two private decks, which uh, uh, is a nice feature as well. So that's, uh, that's number two. Number three is a property at Young and Lawrence. Uh, and this is a more modern property. It's a three bedroom, four bath. And uh, again, it's a very modern space. Uh, obviously, the... Uh, um, the types of properties that I, I like having on my tours uh, vary. I, I, I love having um, character homes, uh, some of which have not been touched very much even from the 20s. And then there's other ones that were literally just uh, completed in the last you know few months. And uh, they're, they're on the market now and, and they have the more modern feel. Um, so for me, I'm, I, I'm very much into, again, comparing uh, different properties with, uh, with you guys, depending on, of course, your, you know, your chosen areas. Uh, and the last one here is a, uh, is, is a very stately home. Uh, this one's a five bedroom, nine bath, and it's in the Hogs Hollow area. So uh, this is one where you can, of course, look through, and as you uh, follow me through the tour, uh, you'll see that it has, again, a very much of a, um, a, a more of a classic uh, type look, obviously with a uh, gourmet chef's dream kitchen, um, five bedrooms, as I said, plus the one, uh, and then we'll go through, you know, obviously all the rooms together, just to give you a quick idea uh, of what's going on, and then of course we reach my favorite room, uh, which uh, I've been uh, very lucky over the years to um, tour and uh, handle some amazing wine rooms, some some that were custom built, um, and I was there for, you know, most of the, uh, most of the design and um, handling the sales of them as well uh, and of course there's a you know a very nice uh, uh, pool room area uh, obviously a nice oversized snooker table um, and in this case as well there's a um, uh, in this particular one there's a, a triple heated garage which is a, a fantastic feature and um, you know it just gives you an idea of what it is that uh, uh, is you know is available in a property uh, of this nature and obviously this is a very um, this is approaching the five million mark, so of course this uh, may or may not be in your range. But I've got again on my luxury home tours, I try to make sure that there's some variety. So um, there's stuff in the 1.5 range, uh, there's stuff in the uh, two range, there's stuff in the three and four range, um, and that's I think that for the most part um, uh, the, the the general. Um, overview of uh, of those properties so uh, by all means uh, drop by unique toronto.com check out the luxury um, uh, check out my luxury uh, my toronto slash gta luxury collection um, and of course uh, anywhere that you're looking from oakville uh, over to oshawa right up to richmond hill um, there's always uh, some properties that are available for, for, for viewing, and we can uh, certainly arrange a time for you guys to uh, join me on that tour. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.